Well, it finally happened. After three and a half years of using this thing almost every weekend, the AC Delco ratchet has given up the ghost. You can see, we pop the battery in, and this is a good battery, but hit the switch and nothing happens. In fact, it's given off a little bit of a whiff of electrical burning. So yeah, I don't know, it's a pretty good run, but uh, I'm pretty pleased with it, even though it's, it's broken and it's okay because I've got a new one. And this time I went with the half inch drive. For whatever reason, the half inch is, was slightly cheaper than the three eighths. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure why that is. I mean, I guess it's kind of because the three eighths might be more versatile than the half inch would be. But this one also has a little bit better specs. You know, this one was rated at 65 foot pounds and I was actually able to test it out as being able to remove a, a bolt that was torqued to 65. So that was impressive. But this one's rated at 70. Ooh, five more foot pounds. And again, this one was rated at 100 foot-pounds on manually torquing it, and this one's rated at 130, so that's a nice, nice little bump. And here you have the part number, nice big letters, if you care to look that up. All the other specs basically seem the same. It's got the same no-load speed, at least that's what I remember the other one having. And it's made in Taiwan. Oh, and it says measurement complied to ISO 6789, so you can go look that up if you want to. Does the box say anything else interesting? No, it doesn't. So let's just get this thing open. This particular kit came with the charger and one battery. Of course, I already have lots of batteries from the other one. And it's nice to have an extra charger, so that's always good. Let's compare these two and see how they are. Well, you can see the body on the half inch is black and this one on the 3 8 was silver. That could be just a new production change. Looking at the heads, they actually look identical. Yeah, these ratcheting heads are the same. The only thing that's different is the actual, you know, drive unit, whatever you call that. But it has the same nice kind of rubber molding on it. Of course, you know, it gets real dirty, the reuse. Basically the same specs on these guys. This is a battery that I know is charged up from the old kit. We'll have to charge up the new one. You gotta hit the safety switch, of course. It has the same nice variable speed switch. That's one of the things I really liked about this one was that variable speed switch. But yeah, I don't know if the half inch drive is gonna be a hindrance or if it's not even gonna really matter. I mean, obviously I can throw a, an adapter on here and, and put any 3 8 sockets I have, but I also have a lot of half inch sockets as well. So I don't really see it being a problem. And since the heads are the same, it's not like this is gonna be harder to get into places. The only thing I can think of is that, you know, half inch sockets tend to stick up a little bit more, but I'm almost always using this thing with an extension anyway. So yeah, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see. I'm kind of thinking it's not gonna make any difference at all and you know for the 15 20 or so bucks that this was actually cheaper than a new one of these you know why not and of course i'll leave a link to it down in the description below and if you want to get one for yourself too well i don't think there's really anything else to do other than just try it out and see how it goes and i'll even measure the the torque of it here in a few minutes and perhaps you know we might even tear this one down and see if there's some obvious thing in here that i could fix maybe it's you know a little component that smoked I can replace. I don't know. Be nice if we could get this thing back too. You know what's interesting is I know I put these on last time with the 3 8 ratchet and they're pretty slow. All right, I got all the bolts finger started. Let's run them in. nice and fast. All right, well, let's see if it performs anywhere near its specs. Uh, this isn't going to be a perfect test, but we're going to try it out anyway. So this is the battery, old battery from the old pack. This is the new battery. I charged it for a few hours until the little charge light went green. So nice and good and charged. And you can see that the old 3 8 ratchet had a two amp hour, 24 watt battery and the half inch has the same one. And you see the part numbers are different on the two. I don't really know what that means, but you know, whatever. I'm sure the batteries are the same, but we'll put a fresh battery in this guy. And it's supposed to be able to torque off bolts from 70 foot pounds. I think I'm gonna start tightening these lug nuts up to 45 first and see if it'll undo it. And then we'll just go up from there. All right, 45 foot pounds. Took a couple of hits, but it got it. All right, we're gonna turn this thing up to 50 foot pounds. Trying 50 foot pounds. 
I don't know why spinning it all the way around and then hitting it did something, but it obviously did, so. All right, we'll turn this guy up to 55 foot-pounds foot now. Let's try that trick again. Spin her all the way around. Oh, that sounded promising. All right. I wonder if that has something to do with like how the drive engages the, the pawls or something. I don't know. Now we turn this guy up to 60. One hit, nothing. Oh, it tried. Third time. Wow, look at that. All right, it's doing 60. All right, resetting for 65. And 65 is where the 3 eighths would crap out. So it's interesting to see. This one will do it. Let me brace this thing really good. I think it moved it a little bit. Nah, I think that's kind of it. I think it's gonna top out here. It's basically topping out the same as the 3 8 topped out at, so. I'm not really sure where they're getting the extra five foot-pounds from on the spec for the half inch, but yeah, you know, this doesn't really matter anyway, because the best way to use this guy anyway is to break the fastener loose with the manual torque and then spin it off like that. It still saves you a lot of time and sore wrists. Well, I think the half inch is gonna suit me just fine. Is it any better than the 3 8 Uh, no, not really. I'm not really sure why you would want the half over the 3 8 other than the fact that it's just a little bit cheaper on Amazon. So, you know, hey, why not get it? And I'll leave a link to both of these down in the description below. I mean, regardless, I, I love these things. They're so handy. Well, that's about all I have for this video. So let us know in the comments below which one you think you'd prefer and why. And I don't know. Like I said, there's not really any difference to them. But anyway, give us a subscribe if you're not already and a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. Bye. Thanks for watching.